Shalom, shalom. I want to give all praises. Call Halal Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Chakodash, that by honesty, the Apostle and Great Millstone of Will, in citation to the hopeful elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing the word in the name of Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. This is Iraq from Great Millstone, Wisconsin, coming at you with another lesson. And this lesson is going to be dealing with the mind, you know. You have uh, the wickedness of the mind, you know. You have, you know, these neuroscientists and neurologists. You know, in the world, you know, who are, uh, who are, um, you know, world renowned uh, scholars and researchers, you know, who run these tests, these psychological tests on the mind day in and day out, right? And that, you know, they diagnose uh, mental health diseases and things of that nature, you know, and they, you know, and they study on how to keep a, a healthy mind and, you know, keep your memories from slipping and stuff like that, you know, but, one thing that they haven't understood, to be honest, is the mind. You know, they'll tell you point blank period that, you know, there are, you know, that the human, that the human brain has not been understood yet. The human mind has not been understood, you know. And the thing is, because they don't come to the one source of all knowledge, which are the scriptures. The scriptures tell you um, exactly what uh, the understanding of the mind is, you know. And that's why, and the reason, and, the, and you look at the understanding of the mind, which is told you in the scriptures, you know, you see why we need Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shad, you know, because, you know, as you see here in Jeremiah 17 and 9, it says, the heart is deceitful above all things, you know, meaning it lies, it prays tricks on you, you know, and desperately wicked, who can know it, you know, so scripture said, who can know it? So these, these uh, neuroscientists and research trying to figure out, uh, how do we, um, how, do, well, how do we, not how do we, but how do they, uh, 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 you know, complete their studies of the mind? You can't, you know, because the Lord designed it to be intricate, you know, but the heart, you know, going back to the Hebrew word law, we should all know that, you know, is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? You know, your mind makes up crazy scenarios and tries to, <laughs> you know, and tries to play tricks on you, man. You know, that's why most of the people in the world now are bugging out, you know, because they can't uh, control the thoughts that are in their own head, you know. But that's because they don't have the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Shot. You know, see, the spirit of the Lord helps you fight those wicked, uh, those desperately wicked thoughts and urges that demons push out into your mind, man. You know, the re one of the reasons why the the heart is desperately wicked you know, is because, like I said earlier, you know, the Lord created the mind to be intricate, you know, intric intricately <laughs> uh, wicked, man, you know. So Romans 8 and 20 says, for the creature was made subject to vanity, you know, vanity meaning emptiness, you know, because we're in this flesh, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope, you know. So he made our, he created our minds to be like this, so that way we can we can still have hope, man, that we can reach the kingdom, you know, because if you already have uh, everything, you know, your mind is completely sound and, you know, you don't have any ailments in your body and, you know, you're completely healthy and, you know, you don't you have everything in life. What are you to hope for? You know, when we're supposed to be hoping for the kingdom. So this wickedness that was set in the heart was for us to uh, ponder on these things and seek the Lord that much more you know verse 10 it says i the lord search the heart see he searches the heart you know meaning the mind you know something that these neuroscientists uh fail to do they figured out you know some things they figured out a lot of uh you know a lot of things like you know that can cause cause you to bug out like chemical imbalances in the brain and things of that nature but they'll never really know the true death of the mind you know he says, I tried the reins, even to give every man according to his ways. See, he even looks into the mind to give you a judgment according to uh, your thoughts and your doings, man. You know, it says, like it says, it says, and according to the fruit of his doings. So like y'all read it ahead of the scripture. I mean, I spoke ahead of the scripture, but, you know, so the Lord looks into your mind and determines if you're uh, worthy of, you know, salvation or judgment, you know, because he knows the wickedness of the mind. You know, because he created the flesh, 
He created these bodies that we all live in, man. You know, and these bodies are subject uh, to vanity like Romans 8. You know, like Paul said in Romans 8. You know? This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 9, verse 14. It says, For the thoughts of mortal men are miserable, and our devices are but uncertain. You know? See, the thoughts of men are miserable, man. We... <laughs> Man, the, the, the mind thinks of nothing but, uh, 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 you know, weird, wicked shit, man. You know, thoughts that'll pop in your head as you're sleeping. You know, thoughts that'll pop in your head as you're waking up. Thoughts that'll pop in your head as you're driving down the street. You know, that have nothing to do with anything. You know, trying to get you to believe uh, uh, scenarios in your head that aren't there. You know, <laughs> that you constantly have to fight through. It says, and our devices are but uncertain. For the corruptible body presses down the soul. See, going back to Romans 8 and 20, the creature was subject to vanity. You know, or uh, Jude, the first chapter, man. You know, these chains of darkness. For the corruptible body presses down the soul, and the earthly tabernacle weigheth down the mind that muses upon many things. You know, so not only do you have to worry about your mind, you have to worry about your body as well, man. You know, which a good state of health contributes to a good state of mind you know if you have a bad state of health you're gonna have a bad state of mind you know but what happens when you have a good state of health and you still have a bad state of mind <laughs> you know that's where yahweh bashim yahweh shai uh, uh uh your love for yahweh bashim yahweh shai is to come in you know that's where you have to seek the lord in order for the lord to cure those impurities and those thoughts in your mind you know pray to the lord to relieve you of certain thoughts you know Pray to the Lord to relieve you of, uh, you know, of, um, you know, things that you shouldn't be uh, worried about, you know. Verse 16, it says, and hardly do we guess aright at things that are upon earth. And with labor, do we find the things that are before us? You know, so we, bear, we rarely guess right at things that are on earth. You know, we don't know everything, you know, but. The mind will trick you into thinking that you do, you know. As scripture said, uh, you know, the um, a man's mind, uh, uh, perfectly paraphrasing, a man's mind, you know, uh, uh, says that he knoweth more than seven watchmen, so to speak, you know. So in your mind, you will think that you'll know the correct way and the correct path to go uh, more than, you know, uh, better than seven people that are sitting up on a tower that can see way farther than you can, you know. Scriptures tell you that there is a way that seems right into the man, but are the ways of death, you know, because the mind is playing tricks on him, you know, it says, and with labor, do we find the things that are before us, but the things that are in heaven who have searched out, right? You know, no one, you know, but the most high, we're trying to figure these things out through the Holy Scriptures and thy counsel who have known, except thou give wisdom. And send thy Holy Spirit from above. See? And that counsel you can only get from the Holy Spirit from above, man. You know? That's why your relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is uh, paramount to you understanding, even understanding yourself. It says, For so the ways of them which lived on the earth were reformed, and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee, and were saved through wisdom. See? We are saved through the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? This is 2 Timothy 1 and 7 says, For the Most High hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. You know, so the Harakadash is responsible for giving us a sound mind, man. You know, because your the thoughts that are in your head, these the, the, the demons that seep in and try to and try to manipulate your thoughts, you know, try to give you a spirit of fear. They try to make you fear things that aren't there, you know, scenarios that uh, uh you know might or might not happen you know hell uh, uh um even even your own uh um uh insecurities will pop up you know can be used against you you know and make you fearful of everything around you except uh for the lord man but we weren't given a spirit of fear but we were given a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind and all of this comes from yahweh bashim shot you know when you look at the word sound Strong's G, 4995, Sofranismas. 
Sophranis mas. An admonishing and calling of a soundness of mind to moderation and self-control. Self-control, moderation. You know, and with that self-control and moderation, uh, you know, you have to pray for that. You know, you have to pray for it. It says the equivalent to correction and discipline. You know, so you also have to discipline your mind. You know, and we were given that the spirit to do so through the Harakakadash. You know, this is the last scripture, you know, and uh, Joshua chapter one, verse eight has really been the, the theme uh, for this week, uh, just for myself. You know, this is uh, Joshua one and eight. It says, this book of the law shall not depart of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Now, this is going to help you with these demons, you know, or the, with these thoughts of the mind, you know, because if you're constantly thinking on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, you don't, you're not giving a place for the devil to seep in. It says that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. You know, so then those things that the, 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 that Satan can play on, you know, those insecurities or, you know, your thoughts of uh, not, um, you know, providing or not having a job or not, uh, you know, just anything that you that you have a... Um, inkling of an insecurity about you know those things will go away you know it says have not i commanded thee be strong and of a good courage you know so you have to be steadfast and you have to be courageous you know even though you you might be afraid you know but courage is having the strength to keep going even when you are afraid you know it says be not afraid see neither be thou dismayed you know surprised for the lord thy power is with thee whithersoever thou goest and that is the point, you know, and as long as you keep that in mind, Satan uh, can't touch you. Well, Satan can touch you, but Satan can't hold you is what I'm saying. Satan can't grab you and take you away from the Lord. You know, as you, as the Lord said in John 17th chapter, man, you know, that nobody's able to clutch them out of the Lord's hands, you know, which is the hopeful elect, you know. So with that, you want to, I hope you, Akim Akwath, were edified in the spirit of Ahawar Kakadash. You know, I want to give all praises. Call Allah Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash, double honors to the apostles and Elsgar Milson and well. And salutations to the hopeful elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing the word and pushing the name in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. Shalom.